I'm telling you, I've been on Wayward Island a million times, and there is no Energon, I don't think. Optimus himself notified us of a faint Energon signal emanating from these coordinates. If we find it, maybe he'll send Bumblebee to pick it up and congratulate us! Don't start inflating the balloons yet. We have to find this stuff first. Down here. If the Energon's been here all this time, why did Optimus only now get a reading on it? These ice caves have probably been slowly melting for centuries. Maybe only recently a tracking signal could get through. Cave paintings. Some prehistoric clan must have lived here. Let's scrape the frost off. This isn't a lad pioneer trip. We're on an important mission. All right, getting closer. Fine, Dad. Thanks, Heatwave. Don't thank me. I think you found what we're looking for. Then let's retrieve it and get out of here. This place is giving me the... Ah! is the find of the century, of the past thousand centuries. A perfectly preserved specimen from the Neo-Paleolithic period. Think of what we can learn by examining him. Um, did anybody else just see his finger move? <laughs> you sure that stalactite didn't hit you on the head? Toe twitch. I definitely saw a toe twitch. Cody's right. Unbelievable. Signs of respiration? Heartbeat? Brain waves? It's alive! How is that even possible? The sub-zero temperatures interacting with the Energon shard must have put our friend here in a state of suspended animation. Let's wake him up. Start chipping. <gasps> we can melt him! I'll go get a hairdryer. Not so fast, my eager little anthropologists. The caveman's been asleep a long time. We need a thawing process that won't shock his system. Oh, a beta-base macrowave, in combination with nanospectrality diffusion. Yep, that's how I do it. Than me. Ugh, he smells funny. Oh. Aw, he likes me too. He's nice. As long as you don't inhale. Don't even think about it. He seems to really have a thing for bots. Something about our presence seems to call the humanoid. But why? No idea. But whatever works. Let's take him back to the firehouse. You bots can spend some quality time with him. Such a good appetite. But horrendous table manners. Which I could forgive if it wasn't for the odor. <laughs> kind of understandable, given how long he's been wearing that animal skin. We should get him some new clothes. Mall trip! Uh, probably not a good idea. If somebody saw him... Every looky-loo in the country would show up to hound him. We can find some clothes around here to give him. <laughs> 
it would appear that he is what is referred to as a 42 regular. Now, who do we know who's that size? Perfect fit! I always suspected Cave was part caveman. My name is Blades. What is your name? I think he said Ira. I think he just grunted. Ira is as good a name as any. All this welcome wagon stuff can wait. We have a mission from Optimus, remember? That Ira interrupted the Energon in that necklace. Where'd it come from? He doesn't understand. Yeah, I kind of picked up on that. The cave drawings we encountered would indicate that Ira's clan was visually oriented. Great idea! Cody, my art supplies. Energon, where can we find more? No, Ira, spit that out. He just needs to learn how to get along in the modern world. Ira, this is called a banjo. It makes music that most humans find annoying. And this is a lamp. It provides light, so you can make shadow puppets. Wow, that's great, Ira. He's obviously done that before. Hmm. Must be the caveman equivalent of television. TV! That's how we can teach Ira. I mean, look how much I've learned from it. And of course, the booths at uh, Crawfish Week. We have a runner. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue. Gotta read. That Energon necklace makes a pretty good tracking device. I certainly didn't expect you to personally pick me up from the ferry, Mayor Lusky. Oh, the least I could do, Mrs. Dumont, for someone who's been such a generous benefactor to our scientific community. <laughs> oh! just came from out of nowhere. Well, what did? Thank goodness you're all right. I'm afraid neither of us are. Stay in your vehicle, Mr. Mayor. Any sign of our runaway caveman? No, but I'm betting he took to the rooftops. Daddy and Blades? We're on it. We are too. Poor guy. Out on his own. Strange new world. And then... They're out of nowhere. Jump this, this creature. Most likely a, a bear or a moose. I've never seen a moose downtown. That means we're doing our job, Mr. Mayor. Keeping them in the woods where they belong. You're welcome. You all right, ma'am? The accident must have given you quite a scare. Chief, Mrs. Dumont's considering making a huge contribution for the new Lusky Wing of the museum. So we can't have any more incidents that will sour her on our town. You understand? Tracking signals lead directly to the museum. But it's closed for renovation. Guess nobody told Ira that. Silent alarm's been triggered. There. 
wonder what's got him so upset. He's homesick. I have this. Hey, Ira. I know how you feel. You miss your old world. But you can't go back. It's gone forever. So wave goodbye to your friends here and come home with your buddy Boulder. Bye-bye. I think Ira's not the only one who's homesick. Hmm. His vital signs and blood pressure are slightly elevated. It's only natural that the trappings of the modern world would be upsetting to Ira. There are lots of good things nowadays, too, Ira. Like... music, whenever you want it. Ooh. Wish we could show him more of the world, instead of having to keep him cooped up. Cooped up or not, Ira's not getting us any closer to locating the Energon. Or to Bumblebee coming to tell us how awesome we are for finding it? Then what say we go look for it, you and me, to Wayward Island? Yes! <laughs> My best recommendation for Ira right now, as little stimulation as possible. Return him to the firehouse for some rest and... Knock, knock! Who's there? His honor! And a very special VIP. Hey, Dr. Green, I don't believe you've ever met Mrs. Dumont. Uh, yes. Uh, that is, no. Uh, uh, but on behalf of the scientific community, I thank you for your uh, huge endowments. It's a pleasure to meet such a noted scientist. I would love to see what you're working on. Well, I'm currently working on this Bunsen burner, a turn of this knob, and presto. Wow. Amazing. Switch is right on. Uh, your fundraising dinner's in a few hours, Mr. Mayor. Mrs. Dumont, you probably want to get to your hotel room and freshen up. Uh, now that you mention it, I could use a bit of a... No, Ira! Come back! Oh! Hello, Frankie. I see that you found, um... Dr. Ira! Right! One of my colleagues. Dr. Mariah. He looks vaguely familiar. And why is he grunting? Uh, he's not from here. He's from Fredonia. A very guttural language. Broad. That means hello. And broad to you as well, Dr. Ira. Charmed, I'm sure. Oh. oh, what a delightful custom. So, Dr. Green, what sort of experiments are you and Dr. Ira working on together? Well, a, a bit of this and uh, a bit of that. Uh, the edible pencil! For when you just have to have a snack while doing homework. Uh, may I try? No! no. It's a prototype, not ready for public consumption. Oh, oh, well, we'll leave you to your important work. But Dr. Green, you simply must bring the delightful Dr. Ira to tonight's dinner. Ah, uh, uh, th that's gonna be difficult. Dr. Ira here has to catch a flight first thing uh, in the- Chief, uh, if I may. If Mrs. Dumont wants Dr. Ira there, I won't take no for an answer. Of course. I'll bring Dr. Ira personally. Police escort. Shall we, Mrs. Dumont? Ira at a fancy dinner. <laughs> Whoa. Not a beep. Ah! Heatwave! If there's no energy on, let's get out of here. This place has a habit of caving in. Wait. I want to get a closer look at those scribbles. Who knows? They might give us some info. Whoa. Are those? Yeah. Our clan. Autobots. Hey, 
Hey, you're stretching the collar. It's my only good suit. <sighs> okay. You are not going to believe what we found. Are those bots? No way. No wonder Ira felt such an immediate connection to you guys. He must have known the Autobots in that painting. You bots have been around since caveman days? This... I don't know what to make of. <gasps> Some kind of meteor shower? It's okay, Ira. <laughs> I think Ira's trying to tell us that Autobots saved him from the meteors. What about the rest of his clan? Hopefully the bots saved them as well, but somehow Ira got left behind. So our fellow Cybertronians gave him the Energon amulet to keep him alive in a frozen state. If he knew those bots, it's almost for sure he knows where there's more Energon. That may be, but now is not the time to pump Ira for info. Like it or not, Chase and I have to get him to the mayor's dinner. May I propose a toast? To Mrs. Dumont. For all her past generosity to our town, may it continue in the future. <laughs> An old Fredonian custom. Then I assume it would be rude not to join in. <sighs> oh my, oh, what an interesting way to eat lobster. Uh, but, but how exactly does one... This might be a good time to invite everyone outside for my special surprise. <laughs> <laughs> That means hello, Infradunium. Over here, Mrs. Dumond. The perfect spot to watch the surprise. Fireworks! Oh. <laughs> Ira! Rescue team. Ira's on the loose. Vicinity of City Hall. Cody, see if you can get a read on him. Got him. He's heading for the radio tower. Fireworks are meteors, like the ones that destroyed his home. He's trying to protect his family, us. Blades, your wench. Hang back, Danny. Iris sees you flying in, it could upset him even more. I can talk him down. Danny, Blades, come and get me. Stop! It's okay! I got you, buddy! We can't keep Ira here any longer. He's a danger to himself. And to others. I agree. As much as the world would benefit from learning about him, I'm afraid the reverse is sadly not true. Sure, it used to be his home, but how's Ira going to be happy here all by himself? Beep, beep, beep. Some tells me he's going to like it just fine. And by the way, the mayor said to say thanks to Dr. Ira. Mrs. Dumont was so charmed, she doubled her contribution. This is our last chance. Ask him if he knows where the Energon is. Ugh. More Energon. 
Where is more? Some help. Scribbles of some hills and of Ira waving. <laughs> Go, Ira. Okay. I know he will. But what about you? Looks like you're feeling a little homesick too. Maybe. But even though I can't go back to where I came from, as long as I have my friends and my team, this is home. Just wish I could take this drawing with me to remember him by. I'll take a picture of it for you. Hmm. Ira's primitive drawing could almost be a map of this area. Some help. We already know there's no Energon in there. Ugh, maybe there never was any big Energon supply after all. Just what was in Ira's necklace. You never know. If the ice caves continue to thaw, someday you might get a stronger reading. It would be prudent to check back occasionally. Doesn't help us now. 